Hey everybody, this is Chris Taco here back with another unboxing. As you can see, I have a pretty large box from Tokyo Taco Mode. Uh, I got a couple figures in the mail, so let's get to the unboxing. As you can see, nice little thank you card from them. And then we look at the clear file. It's the same clear file. Uh, this is a clear file that I already received from an Android I purchased a few months ago. But you always gotta love that. Okay. I'll just show you the figures one by one and then I will do like individual unboxings. This is the Hatsune Miku Taoyer World version 1 8 scale. Front, side, and back. A good smile company. Second unbox, uh, second box would be the ultimate. This is not, this is the Madoka figure. This is a 1 10 scale. This isn't the ultimate Madoka figure. This is a, um, this was made slightly after the 1 8 scale ultimate Madoka. This is a 1 10th version of it. And this comes with as well a, this comes with a booklet. A little magazine booklet. I forgot the I forgot the company that uh, made this figure. And I'm going to continue on. As wow, tape is really nice. I got two art books. One. Sorry for my struggles. Two art books. One is a Tokyo Cool, Tokyo Ghoul, I'm sorry, illustrations guide. And the second link is the, as you can see, is a Black Butler art book. This is by Yano Toboso. Yano Toboso is the mangaka for Black Butler. And these are her, um, these are her illustrations or drawings of the Black Butler characters. This is part one. Uh, book two is sold out. I will pick that up soon. But uh, these are the items that I got. I will do individual unboxings for these. So I'm going to cut the camera and we'll start off with the first part of this. First thing I will be unboxing. Okay, so now to the first thing I will be unboxing from this, I guess you can say, Tokyo Taku Mode haul. Um, these are two, again, as I said before, these are two art books. Or one's an illustration book and one is an art book. The first one, you know, is the Tokyo, I mean, the, yes, the Tokyo Ghoul art book, and the second one is a Black Butler art book. We'll go for the first one. This is a Tokyo Ghoul. Uh, this is an illustration book by the mangaka, and this is Ken and Toka. Here's the front. I know if my camera isn't focusing well, I do apologize. I had this package, I would say, for two days, and it was really, I waited a while to do this unboxing, but um, I could be having, if I have it upside down, <laughs> here we go, but yeah, Ken and Tolka, and the back, here are some uh, basic illustrations, this from the manga cup, and um, this is all considered a Japanese manga, and here's what, these are the manga covers. Um, Again, this is just, it's just an illustration book with artwork from the mangaka itself. There's Rize, um, maybe some to pictures of Toka, it's Ken in his cool form, Ken in his eye patch, more Toka and Ken, Ken, um, there's Hinami, there's Rize, all the cast, Hide, there's Juzu. And so forth. this is this was a cool. I actually this was a cool pickup. Um, if you're interested in this, this is like I paid literally five. This was five dollars on Tokyo Otaku Mode. It's honestly a nice buy. But yeah, it's a nice illustration book. And then as we take off the dust jacket, it's this basic stuff. Nothing too special. Usually I know with um, Japanese everything, anything with Japanese like Japanese manga or Japanese art books. Usually when you take off the dust jacket, there's either some bonus artwork, but they're really really wasn't that, nothing that special but uh yeah i'm actually happy about this one because um oh here's the spine as well um this is tokyo ghoul and kanji 
I was happy with this one because I got my Rosario Vampire character guide book and it was damaged. So I'm happy Tokyo Talking Mode sort of stepped up their game and fixes and like sent this one nice. Okay, so we have the second one. This is by, this is Black Butler. This is an art book by Yana Toboso. As I said, um, Yana Toboso is she is the mangaka for Black Butler. She has written and drew all the volumes for Black Butler, and um, she created an art book. And these are illustrations from her for the Black Butler Black Butler characters, the CL Sebastian. There's two uh, books of this. This is book one, and book two just got released a few months ago. Honestly, it was very difficult to get on Tokyo Takamo because these sell out really fast. Like, once like they sell out, like once they get a shipment in from Tokyo Takamo, Tok once they get them in stock, they go out of stock within like a couple of weeks, so it's really hard to get it. So I was really lucky to get book one. I couldn't get book two yet because it was out of stock again. But here's the front. Here is the spine. As it says, Black Butler, and it probably says right here, I'm I'm, I don't know kanji, but it probably says Kuro Shitsuji, which means Black Butler in Japanese. And I could be wrong. And um, Black Butler as well. And um, this is by Square Inx, who made this art book. And I think it's funny because, well, I like Square Inx because they helped uh, design the Tomb Raider game, the one that came out two years ago. So I, don't know, I thought that was a cool little touch. But yes, this is a hardcover book. It's a really, this is nice. I mean, I paid 20, I paid 22 bucks for this, and honestly, it's worth it. And here it is. It's, this has a nice embossed feel to it. I'm not going to show every single page. It's like a, I think it's like almost a two, it's almost a 300 page art book. I could be mistaken. But again, I'm not, there is better unboxings of this. Again, it says this is the Romanji of um, Black Butler, which says Kuro um, Shitsuji, which literally means Black Butler. And this is some artwork. Again, I'm not gonna go through everything because I'll literally be here all day. And you know, I keep saying, I always say it's my videos, sorry for the not so great quality, but um, Here's some basic art, like here's some artwork. So let's skip some pages. I got a lot of other things to unbox. I still got two other figures. And I don't even know how I'm gonna do that. But yeah, there's like Finny. Um, there's also pictures from the manga volumes, like here, volume one. That's Sebastian. I know this is, I think this is uh, volume five. Um, but yeah, these are picked the volume six. Here we go, yeah. This is the Book of Circus arc right here. There's also an illustrations book of Book of Circus if you're ever interested. But uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go through the entire thing. It's, it's just really nice illustrations. Uh, they're beautiful. Yano Toboso is a true artist in my opinion. And this is honest, the quality of this book is very immaculate and I do recommend getting it, but it's it sells out really fast. So you gotta like, like I checked at least, I checked once a week on Tokyo talking about to see when this came in stock before I purchased the items. But um, I'm gonna cut the camera again and I'm gonna go to my first, one of the skill figures that I purchased. Here, back. Okay, so back to continue on with the unboxing. This is the first skill figure that of, of this unboxing. This is the Hatsune Miku. This is the one I was really excited for. This is the Hatsune Miku Tell Your World version. This is a 1 8 scale by Good Smile Company. Um, so let me just take out the bubble wrap. We'll take it out of the bubble. This is by Good Small Company. Um, this came out recently. This came out in June, I would say. And yeah, I really wanted this figure. Um, I know on Tokyo Talk Mode, if you want to purchase this, this is actually sold out right now. I don't know when they're gonna get any in stock. Right now, it says that on Tokyo Talk Mode website that they will not be stocking this ever again. I don't know, but right now it's sold out. So here's the front spine is there's a lot of windows like the windows are pretty open but uh yeah this is a 1 8 scale like a small company and this is i think this is based off a song from miku from one of her you know her miku the miku expos she did like in new york city la i could be wrong 
but I am a very big Hatsune Miku fan. I really am. And um, I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the figure out of the box and I am gonna show, I'm gonna have it displayed already. So yeah, I'll be right back. And here we have it, guys. This is the Hatsune Miku Tell Your World version one a scale. Honestly, this is a really pretty figure. As you can see on the, the base, I really enjoy the base right here. It's so I love the colors. It matches. I mean, it matches the box to Tell Your World, but everything is so pretty. Um, if you look at her hair, um, her hair. This is actually, this is actually soft plastic. It's very fragile, soft plastic. Also, um, in her hair, she has like these little like stick out stands that like hold the hair in a little bit. But honestly, the detail is very astonishing. What I find was really difficult about this figure, in my opinion, was I when I when I do scale figures, I get really nervous like sticking the foot into the peg because I'm afraid like, I'm gonna break it. Like, with her, it was really difficult because I tried, you know, placing it in and, like, I was afraid, like, I was going to snap her leg and, like, I probably would have a heart attack. But, um, this is the figure. Again, as I, I'm just really, this is, this is the one I was really excited for. Really pretty. Again, this is a 1-8 scale figure. This is by Good Smile Company. And, yeah, this right here really is irritating me. It's, like, it's, it's slightly damaged right there. It bothers me, but honestly, I don't care because it's in the back, so no one's gonna notice. But yeah, this is um, this is the one-eight scale figure, and I'm gonna do my final figure, and as you saw, it'll be the Monica figure. So again, be right back one more time. And here we have the final a figure that I will be unboxing. If you stuck with this video, because this is probably gonna be like my last video, like over a half hour long. Thank you for watching it. Um, this is the this is I looked at I looked at the box because um, I was you know didn't read. This is actually made by Good Smile Company. This is the one tenth version. This is the Ultimate Madoka. This is again this is not the one eighth version of Ultimate Madoka. I know that it came out in like 2012. That one was made right after this. I think it was made right after the series ended. And that is you know her holding her. That's when Madoka was holding her bow. This is the 110 scale version. This came out, I think, right after the first movie, which is uh, the Madoka Magica movie, Beginners. Um, this one, I, if anyone has seen the unboxing of the Sakura Miku 110 scale figure, which I do have, um, I will show that, sorry for the camera movement, I, I'll show that probably when I show my figures one day. My other figures, I do have like around like seven or eight figures. Um, this one comes with a magazine. And this one just shows, it pretty much just shows what I read on the item description of Tokyo Taco Mode. It consists of like other figures made for the series, like the Nendoroid scale figures of like Maroka, Mami, Sayaka, and Kyoko. And um, it also, I think, shows some other promotional artwork and stuff like that. But here's the front. Here's the spine. Again, this is Ultimate Maroka 110 scale. This is not the 18. Sadly, I wish I got the 18. Um, I saw it online. Uh, another figure, it's a, it was a uh, a website, uh, I was on ABC, uh, no, I was on a figure website and they had it. It was a good small partner website. And they had the Ultimate Madoka 1.8 scale and they were charging almost like $500 for it. And I'm like, you know what? I do, I've seen Madoka Magica like a few years ago, but like when the, when the dub first came out and it was aired on Netflix, I mean, I'm not paying $500 for that. I pay, this, um, if you want to go on Tokyo Talk Mode, you can get this figure for literally 60 bucks. It's pretty, it's probably like one of the cheap, like a cheap figure to get. But yeah, I'm gonna unwrap everything and I will display, the, I'll show the figure and I'll, I'll show you the magazine as well. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, I set up the figure already, but before I show you her, I'm going to show you the magazine. Um, if you, if you're not familiar, um, Good Smile made a one tenth scale version of Sakura Miku and like the packaging and everything is the exact same thing as this figure. Um, it also comes with a magazine. I, it says something, you know, Japan. It's from with Madoka and the back. And these magazines usually come with. Um, it shows um, a basic, like this one's going to show um, a basic uh, background of the Madoka series. Um, it's going to show you other, like the other figures that are made by Good Smile Company, like the Nendoroids, the Figmas, other scale figures that they've put out. Um, I know this has an interview with the voice Japanese voice actress of Madoka Kaname. Um, I tried filming this earlier, but like when I 
I showed the book and then I just showed her the figure and the wing fell off again because when you when you set up the figure what's good about the uh, I'll I'll get to it when I show you but um here's ultimate Madoka this is again this is the 110 scale it shows you know character profile this shows the story the basic like the story of the series again it just shows pictures of like for example the beach queens it just shows this um you know, pictures of the figure and stuff like that. These are this is the design team, I believe. I don't really know kanji. I believe this is the design team for the Ultimate Monica series, a good smile. At the bottom, if I know you probably can't see it that well, um, it shows you how they actually make the figure. Like through, you know, computer software, like they make a CGI scale version of her on the computer and then they probably they use they show you how they mold her and they paint her. And then they show some character profiles of Madoka, Homara. Mami, Sayaka, and Kyoko, and then this is the Japanese voice actress. Her face, no offense to her, but her face, how she's posed in this looks really funny. I think it looks really freaking funny, but um, it shows it shows her with all the her, the figures for the Monoka series, like this is the 110 scale that I purchased. Uh, the Nendoroid of Ultimate Monoka, this is the original 1-8 scale Ultimate Monoka, and this is the Figma. And also this is the like um this is a doll i know it's like a uh, like a two foot size doll i'm not sure but i know i've seen those before and they are really expensive and this is just an interview with the japanese voice actor again you know it's not in english so i really can't read any kanji but it shows her like with the figure and everything like that it probably, i'm assuming oh yeah with aoyuki who is the japanese voice actor and this is the interview. I think this talks about like you know her working on the show and so forth. And here's just other figures that Good Smile has made for um, the series. I mean, I haven't watched Madoka again at least around two years ago. Whatever when like yeah like around 2013 I watched it. So I do have to rewatch the series. I've never watched any of the three movies like beginning beginners. I forgot what the second one's called and then you know Rebellion. I never saw them yet. So I do plan on rewatching the entire series. Like purchasing the Blu-rays, I just because I want to, and then have watching the movies. But yeah, it's just the you know, pictures of figures, like the beach queens, the real action hero figures, the Monica figures, and so forth. It's a cool little read, but I mean, if you can read Japanese. But um, as I show you again, I tried recording this again the second time. This is Mod Ultimate Mod. I want to say this again. A very astonishing. I, it's such a pretty figure. As I show you, like the ruffles are so everything's so detailed with the dress and her ruffles, her hair. It's so freaking honestly freaking pretty. Um, I like the one thing I like the plus about this figure is that it's already attached to the base. Like her, um, she has an arc behind here, and it's already attached to the base already. So once you like pull out the figure. She's already on the base. The only thing that was a huge issue with these wings, these two wings, very, very for me it was very difficult to put on because like you got to do is like they're behind her hair, so you got to like find a way to sneak in through her hair and jiggle the wings into her back. And I don't know if, if anyone you have like um, the Yoshino Nendoroid because I have that. Like with her, it's like the same thing with her like her tail. The Yoshino's tail, it's so hard to jiggle into her back. It's really difficult. And also these are really the wings are really sensitive. The honestly, it might this these wings might be crooked because like I tried filming this already before and when I filmed it the wing fell off. So I had to go stop the video and spend like 20 minutes putting it back on. To me it took me it took takes me like it took me a while because it's just really hard to jiggle it. I know like you can do is you can take hot water and try to warp the holes a little bit, but honestly like it's in a such it is such awkward position because I'm gonna try to move her gently. It's in like it's right in her her hair and it, like it's in her hair and it's so freaking difficult to put back on and like and that's what I'm trying to do like gently too because I really don't want to you know like, ruin the fi I mean not ruin it but like it's just a matter of difficulty but um. That is pretty much everything. That is, you know, all all the figures. Like those are the everything I got from my Tokyo Takumoto haul. Um, I I planned this haul for a few months now because like I've been looking at a lot. Of, there's a lot of issues with like this haul. Like, 
This figure itself, this was out of stock for months. This figure, so I was really waiting for it to come in in stock. Also, I was waiting for her, the Miku Tell Your World version, to be released. I was waiting for the Yano Taboso art book to be in stock. It was just like, this was the right time to purchase it. But yeah, if you stick through this whole video, I, I don't even know how long this video is. It might be like at least a half hour long. But if you did stick through it, I mean, thank you. And yeah, thank you for watching this video. I do appreciate it. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one. I know, like I said, my Psycho Pass unboxing, I said there wasn't going to be like an anime like haul or unboxing because mainly this is like, this is where the vast majority of my money from like my anime haul month, this was like, this is where it went to, like these two figures and these two art books. So, I mean, I did get a couple things from Red Stuff. I got like, for example, I think one of the items I got, like I got like the Lux Nebio DVD and I got like, um, Future Diary on Blu-ray. I mean, those are like one of the. I think I got like one more item. I'm not really. I don't remember 100%. But um, yeah, like I got those. I mean, I'm rambling, but this, you know, that boxing will come soon. And then, you know, in a month or so, my September haul will come in. But uh, yeah, this is pretty much. This is pretty much the unboxing. Um, I will be getting my usual manga haul. Manga coming in the mail, I would say probably the end of this week, so stay tuned for next week. I probably will get that, uh, do that unboxing soon around next week when I get the manga. And again, thanks for watching this video. Like I said, it's like a time. Like, comment, subscribe for more videos like this one. I mean, not like this one. I mean, you know what I mean. Um, thank you so much, guys. See you next time.